Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, there's kind of an echo in this bathroom, but um, really quickly I just wanted to do a little intro and say today's video is going to be a massive play with me. Uh, we got a lot to do today and Justin is actually gone, he's working with one of our clients today. He's not going to be home until probably like 7 o'clock. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to <laughs> clean and just kind of like get in the zone and get things done because when he's here, I just want to spend time with him and <laughs> and it slows me down. Um, but then when he's gone, it's like, okay, today, if I'm going to have a massive cleaning day, today is the day. Okay, I've gotten myself ready for the day. The first thing we're going to do is make this bed. Y'all know we got to do the morning routine first. We got to make the bed. We got to unload the dishwasher. I have dishes in the sink that also need to be loaded. And then I also have a basket of laundry just sitting on the couch that needs to be folded. And then after that, we'll get into the things that we don't typically do every day. my camera was about to die and I can't lose any more time so I'm using my phone um, but I'm about to clean off this mirror you know the other day when I cleaned in here I did the bathtub scrubbed that down and oh I wiped down the countertop uh, which kind of needs to be done again but I didn't clean the mirror and I also really need to clean our shower door you can kind of see the scum on there so I'm gonna clean that off today. And I know for sure I need to empty the trash and I'll probably just go ahead and clean this toilet since I'm in here. But um, I know from back here, it doesn't look like the mirror is that dirty. But you know, this morning when I was talking to you guys, you could see there was like a smudge on my face. And when I get closer up to it, let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> anyway, it's dirty, let's clean it.
All right, moving on to the shower door, I'm gonna use this uh, spray away glass cleaner and I'm also gonna use this totally awesome stuff. Uh, you can get this at the Dollar Tree, it's like $1.25 or whatever. Um, and then I'm also gonna use a scrub daddy. Sometimes I use the Love Man cleaner for this as well, but the other day I put vinegar in my bottle and for whatever reason, um, it like clogged the nozzle. So Love Man cleaner is also good on this. And I ordered some more um, cleaning spray bottles today. They're blue and they're really pretty. I can't wait to get them in. I ordered them yesterday. They should be in today, but they just haven't come in yet. So we're gonna use this for now. Let's do a little before shot of the door. Also gonna scrub this area over here. I'm gonna get up another TV wallpaper. I just had one finished saving, and then this one's the next one I'm gonna save. Look how pretty that is. Love that one. Um, I also need to wipe down these counters. When I put this computer up here, I was like, oh my gosh. I guess I didn't wipe down the counters last night after dinner because this is, this is yesterday's food. <laughs> I got a mint in my mouth, so if I look puffy, that's why. Um, but have you guys seen that reel where it's like what my family sees and it's like a clean kitchen and then it's like what I see and it's like the scratch on the cabinet and then like there's bits of rice on the countertops and you know, things like that. It's like, that's what I see. I've never felt a reel more than that one. <laughs>
So I was hoping to have a lot more done by now. It's like 1230 and I got started at like 10. <laughs> um, but the kids were having breakfast and talking to me and then they were getting ready. They just left to go to their friend's house just down the street. And so I'm gonna get back to work. Totally worth it though. Like I will always take time to stop and be with them whether I'm working or whether I'm doing house stuff like I'm stopping and taking time with them. So anyway, just put me a little bit behind schedule. Fingers crossed, we'll still get everything done that we wanna get done today. But let me show you this. I had laundry in the dryer and also this was the load that was on the couch. So I dumped that out, went and got the clothes out of the dryer and now we've got two loads to fold. Told y'all we have a lot to do today. <laughs> This needs to be taken outside for recycling and then I have been waiting on both of these to be full at the same time to do this job and it has taken days because normally if one's full we'll just go ahead and take it out um, but as you can see like back behind here and stuff like our trash can really needs to be cleaned badly so I'm gonna take it outside and like hose it down and wipe it down and everything um, so let's do it and y'all, earlier, whenever I was unloading the dishwasher, I opened up this cabinet right here to put those dishes in, and this piece of glass fell out at me. I was like, yep, mercury is definitely retrograding right now.
cleaning the trash can, Amazon came in. I only got two things, so I'll show you guys my <laughs> mini haul. Um, it's kind of noisy with this dishwasher going, but I got this leopard print skirt um, because I, was, I have a black bathing suit and I was like, you know what, with all these kids hanging around, I just need like a, a little skirt to throw on. Um, so I got this one. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it has buttons. Y'all can't even see this. It has buttons on the side like that. And then, oh, there it is. It just ties. Let me lower the camera. Let's see, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be so cute with my black bathing suit. Now, obviously I can wear this with just like a black bodysuit too. A jean jacket would be so cute with that. Um, and then I got my spray bottles in. Look how cool these are, they're glass. <laughs> Am I a true influencer now? They're glass, ASMR. Um, but they come with different caps too, and a funnel. And it came in a pack of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my Love Mag cleaner in here. Like I said, I'm no longer in contract with the Love Mag cleaner. Um, so like, I'm not making a commission. I just literally have lots of it and still use it because it's an amazing product. But I still have the cucumber melon and I just noticed on the website the other day that they only have fresh pine left. So if you still have cucumber melon, then uh, count yourself lucky because <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to get it ever again and honestly it was my favorite of the two because it it's cucumber melon but it's like minty and for me like I just love mint always have always will like I literally have two to three peppermint teas a day and then you guys saw earlier in this video I had a mint in my mouth like I don't know what it is about me and mint but it's a it's a bond that cannot be broken <laughs> so obviously that one was my favorite but this one was always good to use like um when it was winter time like christmas was coming up and then also just change up the scent um just something different but just cucumber melon so good All right, I gotta test it out. I gotta see how well it sprays. I guess I need to open the spray bottle first. Ooh, I love that. Okay, that really likes, that really sprays out. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that's got a wide range on it. Do you wanna go on a walk? You've been looking so sad while I'm busy. You want mommy to take you on a walk? Let's go. So we are back from our walk and the trash cans are actually dry, but before I bring them in, I wanna just organize this pantry a little bit better. Also over here, this is where the trash cans were, so this needs to be wiped down too. Now let me show you the pantry. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, don't laugh at my birthday present over here. I was kinda trying to get some ideas yesterday on how I want to organize this, and I was like, hmm, maybe I can use this box that was just like, it came with assorted chips in it. And I'm like, maybe I can use this and wrap it in white wrapping paper and it'll look cute. And I've had it there since yesterday and I cannot get past the fact that it feels like I have a birthday present in my pantry. I'm not loving it. So I'll probably just unwrap that. One thing I've learned about myself in all my homemaking years is that my pantry has got to be somewhere in the middle. I know that there are a lot of people who are like super extreme and I've tried that before where you put like your nuts in uh, in their specific container and then the cereal goes in a specific container and then, you know, caramel popcorn goes <laughs> in specific containers. And I, like most of my homemaking years, I have been a little bit more like this and I have tried to do like the extreme, really beautiful version and it just stresses me out. Every time I've done it, I'm like, 
okay, well now when I do my grocery shopping, I have to clean out this cereal container because I got a different cereal. And then all the cereal didn't fit in this container. So now I have to figure out a place to hide the cereal box. And it's just like, that's just added stress. <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't about that anymore. Um, and like I said, most of like, if you go back and look at like, my videos from like 2017, 2018, even 2019, it wasn't like that. And I feel like 2020, like probably when we moved into the house in Savannah, not right away, so maybe 2021, I tried to go extreme in the pantry and it's just not worth it for me. So anyway, we're gonna do somewhere in the middle because I want it organized. Don't want it looking chaotic like it is now but I don't want it extreme either. So let me show you what I mean. So we've got stuff down here. This is like sauces and um, peanut butter, Nutella, syrup, you know, stuff like that goes down here. So there is a method to the madness. This is a snack station. And then we have like noodles and rice, which is like grains. Um, and then all of my baking stuff is up here. I've got all of my cans here and the broth. So it's a little organized, but then also it's not. You see what I mean? So we can do better. I think what I'm gonna do just to make my life easier, cause this pantry is kind of tight. I don't wanna have to have the tripod set up in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do a before pan. And now this is after, so much better. I've got all of our Cokes down here. I put the chips over here. And then I put this basket here. I actually pulled it out of our bathroom. I wasn't like nothing was in there. So pulled it out of there to put the potatoes in, ramen. And then we've got cans and broth. This is where I keep all of our tea and like coffee pods. All the baking stuff is up there. Cereal, bread items basically right there. So we got uh, tortillas and English muffins. We've got popcorn over here, grits and oatmeal back there and just some crackers. And then this is like candy and then dog treats back there. All this has been organized. I've got my oil and vinegar right there. This is my really long charcuterie board. My sister-in-law picked it up for me at, I think she got it at Sam's Club or Costco but I love this thing. Um, and then over here, I have all of my mason jars organized, put the lids back on. I had a few extra lids, so I just put those in here. And these black containers had popcorn in them. They weren't black, you know, they were like all decorated for Christmas. And then after we ate all the popcorn, I just spray painted it black. And I've had these in our laundry room, but I figured I'd bring them in here um, so I could put my other mason jar tops in there. And then in this one, I just put the trash bags. That way it just looks a little bit neater. And then my recipes right there. I've got Ziploc bags and plastic wrap, tin foil, all that. And then up here, this isn't really like super organized, but it's just a few like miscellaneous things. So I've got like my bread bags up here, some skewers, these things are like, fun, it turns fire different colors. So when we use our fire pit, we'll put these in and it turns it like blue and pink and stuff like that. So, and then just like extra um, plastic forks and spoons and stuff up there. <laughs> Over here, I, I might end up just throwing all of this away. It's been up here since Thanksgiving. It might've been even before that, but I tried to make wine and it's wine but it's not good wine, you know? And so it's like, hmm. And I mean, not that we drink super good wine. I mean, normally the wine that we get is somewhere between 12 and $30. So it's not like we're drinking really great wine here, but it's, it's okay. And we, anytime we want wine, we're like, that's not our first choice. And so I'm like, if we're not gonna drink it, I should probably just throw it away. <laughs> but I tried. I, I like, that's my thing this year is like trying new things and that's how I found sourdough, you know? But, and gardening and things like that. But some things are not a hit and homemade wine was not a hit for me. But 
We'll try it again um, before I throw it away because it has aged a little bit longer. We are in April now, so maybe it's a little bit better now. Maybe I can get Justin to try some with me tonight, and if we don't like it, we'll go ahead and throw the rest of it away. But anyway, that's how it all looks now. Oh, I got everything cleaned up back here. All the wall is all wiped down and everything. So yeah, this feels so much better. But I really need to get dinner going. It's five o'clock now. Justin's gonna be home in two hours, but I'm starving. I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna make another HelloFresh meal. This video is not sponsored by HelloFresh, but we, so like when you order HelloFresh so many times, um, you kind of get like points, I guess. Um, and then you can like cash in on your rewards and we ended up getting these three meals for like $11 And I'm like yeah, we can't afford not to do that <laughs> And our last meal our, our last uh, box with three meals was like that too. It was like $11. So I'm like That helps the grocery budget a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna make this one. It's like a herbed pork chops and gravy What I really wanted tonight was the fish tacos and I'm like that's not gonna keep as well as this. Um, so, I, you know, for Justin, since he's not getting home for another two hours, I'm like, you know what? Go ahead and make this one because this one will be a lot easier to heat up and, and still be really good. Hold that thought of making dinner. I just got my grocery order in. I ordered Instacart earlier and then I got in the zone cleaning the pantry and I just totally forgot. <laughs> and then it just showed up. I'm like, oh yeah, I ordered Instacart. Um, but I, this is just like a little order of just some random things we needed. So needed some more paper towels. I noticed earlier when I was cleaning that we only had one left. So got some more of those, got some more chips. For the kids Fritos is not their favorite this one and as you could tell when I showed y'all the pantry that's what's really left and so I wanted to get them some other things um, also got them some Uncrustables to snack on Bailey's dog food we always do ground turkey and then we also do peas and carrots we do like three bags of this and then we also do like four cans of white potatoes I also got some rigatoni noodles. I plan on doing my crock pot chicken, marinara chicken this week after our HelloFresh is gone. So got some of that. Also some more French's fried onions cause I'll probably do another Korean bowl, which is why I got the soy sauce. Here's my marinara for the chicken marinara. We were almost out of Nutella. So I went ahead and got some of that. Got some taco seasoning, some au jus seasoning. Um, oh, I got some dill, some fresh dill, and also this cheddar cheese because I wanna make this like fancy popcorn and you like drizzle lemon juice over it and then extra butter and then you put on like chopped fresh dill and then some cheddar cheese like shred it and put it over the top of it and i've seen people on instagram doing this and they're like you'll never have popcorn any other way and i'm like okay i have to try this so anyway that's what this is for and then i also got the parmesan cheese for the chicken marinara and that is it now let's get to cooking Oh 
Racing to an unknown destination, can't you see? All right, so I'm putting my popcorn in the bowl. Then I'm gonna squeeze the lime on top. This feels so weird to like squeeze a lime on top of your popcorn, but everybody says it's amazing. If you find any lemon seeds in here, That's just a don't lemon. Eat them. What did I say? Lime. A lime? <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> lemon. I don't even know if you need all this. Like maybe we just do half first. I don't know. All right, I've got my dill here. Can you see that? Justin's behind the camera for mm -hmm. me now. He's home, back to being cameraman for me now <laughs> instead of other people. Um, okay, now I'm just gonna shred the cheese on top. I'm gonna do it with this one, make it a little bit smaller. What do you think the kids are gonna say about this? They always love this kind of stuff. So. Yeah, they do. <laughs> okay, then we are going to put the lid on top and then bake it like you would a salad. Do you want to come over here and try it with me? Sure. bunch of flavors because the lemon you really get the lemon mm -hmm. and you don't usually get that with popcorn obviously. I know I'm like I really do like that tanginess yeah. I don't know that I would put as much lemon on next time because it kind of wet the popcorn lot, yeah. and it is a like you definitely get the lemon you don't need that much to get the, a hint of it you know? yeah I'd probably just do half the dill is just right there yeah, because it's I not too so. much. Like you just get a little, a little like hint it. of it. I like that too. Yeah. And I'd probably do more cheddar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we only, we only did this much cheddar, so I'm gonna go ahead and grate a little bit more on top. Okay. Have a taste. Tell me what you think. Different. It's different. Yeah. Do you like it? Kind of. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes like normal popcorn. Normal right? popcorn. Okay. It has lemon. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I got that. Yeah, lemon juice, dill, and cheddar cheese. I like grated it over the top. Oh, it tastes better now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. So you taste it? No. <laughs> I can put more cheese in it. I like the lemon in it. Have you tasted the lemon in yeah. it yet? Yeah. No, what do you think? Like mm -hmm. one out of ten, or like what would you rate it? Five out of ten. Seven. Five out of ten, seven out of ten. I think I'd do seven out of ten too. Because I like it, I would do it again for sure. But also regular popcorn. Yeah, I don't think it's a must-have, but it is good. Yeah, like a lot of people were saying, like, you'll never have popcorn any other way. And I'm like, I could have popcorn, regular popcorn again, and not feel like I'm missing out. But also, this is a treat every once in a while just to mix it up. 